Hello Ride On people. So my new 2022 Ducati Monster Rider V4S uh, is ready for its first service. I've had it a couple of weeks, but I've only just had a chance to ride it the last two days and I put 600 miles on it. The last 150 or so were in the pouring rain, so it's pretty filthy at the moment. <coughs> Sorry about the leaf blowers in the background, just the kind of uh, desperate housewife's neighborhood I live in. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, the bike uh, is looking pretty filthy when you view it up close, so I'm just going to give it a quick wash, not a proper clean. I don't have time this morning before I put it in for the service, but I should always give your bike a good clean and then video it just so it kind of proves there's no damage to it. Fortunately, where I'm taking it to Mountain Motorsports and Roswell, they always get their iPad out and do a video of the bike just so there's no dispute about any damage to it, but always worthwhile doing. <coughs> So looking pretty filthy at the moment and uh, doesn't give much of an indication of uh, its condition so let's uh, throw some water at it. So I have the bike back from the 600 mile service, uh, it costs 512 of your US dollars. Uh, no issues in terms of the bike pre uh, service no issues found of the bike at service so the firmware was up to date there was no signs of oil leaks uh, everything was tickety boo and uh, i got the bike back and rode it home basically pretty um, non-eventful um, only things i did notice was that for some bizarre reason the mechanic had unplugged the battery tender and left it hanging uh, down below my seat um, not sure why he had to take um, the seat off, probably to plug in the diagnostic tool to check for error codes and uh, for latest firmware update. Um, but I just plugged that back in, put it back under the seat, and um, uh, tire pressures were set correctly, which they always seem to be with this particular dealership, whether it's my uh, my last bike, my Street Fighter V4S, or this bike, both at the PDI and collection, seems to be set for uh, a generic 3642 or two up with luggage. And um, so I'm running a bit lower than that. Um, I'm not running the solo settings, but um, I'm running kind of 3540 and uh, seems to feel good at that. Um, I think it's a little expensive for a first service, but then again, everything is these days, isn't it? You know, a couple hundred dollars for parts and, uh, um, you know, 300 for labor. Um, and I guess that's probably, uh, you know, thereabouts because they've got to take off the, uh, the skid plate and, you know, drain the oil and, you know, remove the seat and plug in the diagnostics and uh, check it all over. And uh, they have a whole tick list to go through and stuff. and. I guess if safety is important to us, then uh, it's just what we've got to pay. The really nice thing is that we're not looking at a service now at 4,000 miles or 5,000 miles or 6,000 miles. There's nothing to do until 9,000 miles. So uh, I probably cover 9,000 miles in uh, a year, so I'm good to go. Some people have mentioned about, you know, if you don't cover that mileage, you still have to have an annual service. Well, they request that, but I don't think there's actually any technical or legal reasons for having to uh, have that done um, so I don't think that's going to affect your warranty irrelevant of what country you live in and in fact in the US um, you can service the bike yourself someone should provide evidence that you did it to uh, a reasonable standard your your warranty is uh, upheld during the warranty period um, however I'm not a lawyer <laughs> so you know that's up to you, but for me personally, it wouldn't bother me uh, only getting the bike serviced once it's done 9,000 miles and not on the dot on uh, you know day 365 if I'm not quite there yet. Uh, so pretty painless, but uh, just a quick update to give you a rough idea of costs and um, to report that uh, nothing un uneventful has happened with the bike. Everything works perfectly from its self-cancelling uh, turn signals to the 
active cruise control to the blind spot monitoring. Um, it's all doing exactly what it says on the tin. So uh, happy days so far. I'll be giving you further updates as the mileage increases. Hey you, if you want to become one of the Ride On people, don't forget to subscribe. Ride often, ride carefully, ride on.